They are getting big quick, Mark Farashi Pro Tech Dog Training, and they are getting big fat. They're big fat roly polies. My little running one is not going to be running too much longer because he's got food source now, baby. Yeah. Good dog, yay. There they go. Yay. I still haven't made my shaker cans. I was making some noise other than that. Kind of cute. Mom puts them in at night and they're not allowed to come out at, at night. She's growled at them a couple times and made them stay in the doghouse. It was kind of funny. This morning they're all waiting for her to let her out. I had to kind of let them coax them over the lip. Now I went and got a drink and now I went poop and potty and their, their daily routine is starting to set in now. So now they're getting more and more used to it. So. And the main thing, I've got some ground up uh, regular dry dog food, my puppy food, the Imes puppy. And so I'm making sure I'm kind of monitoring their poops. The only thing I'm worried about is them getting constipated. So I'll keep an eye on that. And uh, they should do fine. they got plenty of water. There's a little bit of goat's milk mixed into that gruel that they got going on. And we'll slowly nurse them over to the regular. You grind up the dog food, then their systems get used to it. They don't want to switch diets. It's the same thing with puppies. You, their systems are a lot more sensitive and frail at this age, so you just take it real slow and steady. This is canned food and uh, dry dog food and, and goat's milk. Yay, good dog. Which we're, I think we're going to stop the goat's milk now. We don't need it. She's got a little bit more feeding. She's still feeding them, so that and uh, just a little bit of water, so the water source. It's all about taking it nice and slow with their little guts, huh? Their little guts. Yeah, good dogs. And I do believe this boy and girl, or girl and boy, whichever one the case these are, these two are already taken for somebody, I hope. We're going to find out what they do as they mature a little bit more. And whoever gets the run of the litter might be the really lucky person. The runt's going to be a real smart little sharp little guy. Uh, but He's going to remind me of Rocky is what his body size reminds me of anyway. Hi, huh, little boy, huh? Yeah, I see you. Huh? Look at that tail's all high. and See, everybody else's tail is low. You notice his tail is high. He's carrying himself with a lot more cocky attitude with that high tail. And that's just the way he approaches life. That tail's always up. And that kind of tells you something. That tail set at this age without any stimulation... I mean, that's just the way he carries himself. He's going to be a cocky little boy. Yes, he is. He's going to be a cocky little boy. This little run of the litter is going to probably be one of the best dogs there, except he's not going to have the size, but Rocky was a damn good dog and came out really nice, being smaller than the rest of the guys. Yeah, hi, babies. Hi. Hi. Yeah. Good. Yeah, you boobies. That's the run of the litter, huh? The run of the litter. Yeah, you boy. Yeah. So I do believe we might have one female and one male still left. Everything else is spoken for. i got to go through the list again and kind of double, triple check. And we'll go from there. Talk to you later.